Alright YouTube, it's, P it's Peter Generation again, coming to you with another Distortion Pedal review. Uh, I've recently done the DoD Grunge uh, Distortion Pedal, so if you haven't uh, seen that, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's not related to this one, but uh, it's just a really good pedal if you're looking for one. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the, this is the, this is the oldest pedal I own. Uh, it is the DoD FX55 Distortion. Uh, this thing is from the uh, mid to late 1980s. I think this one is from 84. So uh, it's a it's a pretty old distortion pedal. Um, it's simple in out. Uh, you got a small treadle with a very uh, light touch to it. It doesn't take much to get it to go off to get it to turn on. Uh, standard quarter inch in and out. Uh, jacks however the power supply is uh, different most of you who use pedals these days know that any 9 volt supply it uses is this this kind with the opening in it I think it's like a center negative 9 volt supply but that's not a, this is the typical type of uh, in uh, I mean uh, 9 volt power supply that people that we're used to these days. However, this one uses, uses this uh, little different kind of power supply. It, uses this, it's, it looks like it's the kind of power supply that looks like a headphone jack. It's got this kind of, I think it's called a center positive uh, type of uh, power supply. Uh, one of these looks like a headphone jack. I'm actually having to use my Atari 2600 power supply for this. Um, I'm gonna have to make this in a pretty quick, pretty short uh, overview of this pedal because, um, mainly because uh, one, uh, the batteries are going dead on my camera, and two, uh, it is probably the most the, the most unusable distortion that I have ever used because it's it's very very nasally. It's not a very it, it's not a very overdriving pedal. It just kind of it's more like an overdrive more than anything. Even though I've used it as kind of an overdrive and, and I didn't like that. That didn't uh, that didn't sound good to me. So I'm gonna make this pretty quick it's just two knobs level and distortion and this thing is old so these pots are scratchy so uh clean tone tones off It's probably going to get a pretty nasty volume drop. You probably won't be able to hear it that well, so I'm going to have to turn this up all the way. See how scratchy that is? push the distortion up some, see how we can get out of it. You have to turn it up pretty high to get anything out of it. That's the, uh, the pots are really...
So it's not a very, and if you, if you turn up both, it makes my nose make this weird noise too on the guitar. Uh, it's going to make this, it's going to squeal a lot if you turn everything up really high. very usable distortion it's really trebly but you know it could be because uh, the pedals really old I mean, it's not that old but it's a uh, it's a it's a good it's a good 27 years old kind of pedal so uh, mm, it may just need new pots it may need to be it may need to be worked on seriously uh, because I'm I don't like it that much I mean I like I like the pedal I'll use it every now and then but I can't do much with it. I don't keep it in a pedal board because it's because as it stands right now, the pedal's really trebly, very nasally, not very useful. There's not there's not a whole there's like there's almost no crunch to the sound. I mean it's halfway decent, but you know uh, if if you if you're uh, a, a vintage pedal hound like I am, I like these. Uh, these old DOD pedals, especially. I, I, I love these old DOD. Um, pick one up if that's what you're into. But if you like to tinker around and repair them, and you can find one for, I mean, I got this for like maybe 15 bucks on eBay. So uh, they're out there. Uh, if, you, if you're one of these kind of vintage pedal hounds who's a collector, pick one up if you can. Uh, if it needs repair, get it repaired. It's a decent distortion. I, w I don't care for it as a I wouldn't gig with it because uh, it's the, the it feeds back way too much for me and like I said it's just way too high way too trebly nasty it's I, I would actually uh, I'd actually use a DS1 over this and most people don't like those but I love DS1 so but that's that's not the point so this is the that's that that was the DOD FX 55 distortion pedal from the 1980s uh, not exactly the highest recommended pedal but pick one up if you really like that kind of stuff so this is the PV generation uh, I'll see you next time